Senate Minority Leader Enyin Naya Abaribi has condemned the approach the federal government is taking to resolve the Southeast attacks. Abaribi, in an interview on Arise TV on Thursday, condemned the arrest of innocent youths, especially young boys, by security operatives in the Southeast each time there is an attack on a security formation. The senator stated that there is a need for security agencies to conduct an in-depth investigation, bring and try criminals involved in the acts in the court. He also insinuated that there are speculations that the attacks which are being done in quick succession in Igbo land were aimed at scuttling the proposal for an Igbo presidency. Civil engagement dictates that you investigate, apprehend, and prosecute. We are happy that Nigerians are seeing that what is happening here is not an evil problem, but a criminal syndicate going around all parts of the country, and the government needs to unravel this. If a criminal burns a police station, you do nothing and then go and arrest every villager that you see on the street, which is what is currently happening in the Southeast. Then you are not resolving the issue. What you are letting everybody know is that it is us versus them, which is not a good way of building unity in the country. We have directed the Inspector General of Police and other security agencies to conduct a thorough investigation, not just round up youths that you see. Conduct extrajudicial killings and say you have resolved the issue. Suppose the, these attacks being done in the quick succession in Igbo land are meant to scuttle the proposal for an Igbo presidency. I hope you can also look at it from that perspective, he said. All we are saying is, try to conduct a thorough investigation, then we will know who is doing this, who their sponsors are and why they are doing it, he said. Of course, the man is right to an extent. Arresting innocent youths would not solve the problem that Nigeria is facing. Arresting innocent youths on the streets would not address the problem, but rather conducting thorough investigation to know exactly what the problem is and those who are behind it is actually what would solve these issues. Because if we do not get to the root of this matter, there is no way we can say we want to solve the problem because to solve this problem a thorough investigation is required to get to the roots and know why and what is actually happening as the case may be I stand to be corrected if I am wrong but that is just the truth of the matter how can a government you know just go after innocent citizens all in the name of trying to prove to the world that they are doing a job. On what grounds could that be justified? Of course it cannot be justified and that is what is happening in the Southeast. People are being picked up from doors to doors. There were reports in some parts of uh, Imo State, especially in the Nekede Axis, the uh, Ihiagwa area, that youths were being picked from their houses, from door to door, and they have been shot. They just go into a house, pick up any young man they see there, and it's either they stab the man or kill the man with a gun, and move to the next one continuously like that. There, were, there are reports of that this particular issue happening. And the question is, who or what was their offense? The government has not even made mention or commented on it. 
it tells you that there is a game plan or there is a narrative that is being played out but people are not probably aware or people are not a, uh, are not sure so the government the president the security forces must stop this wicked act of arresting innocent youths if there are people who are actually committing these crimes go after them if they are in the southeast there or if they are from the southeast conduct thorough investigation one thing is certain if the nigerian police force wants to do a thorough job they can and nothing will stop them but take a look at the uh, script that has been played out in recent times once there is an attack no investigation is carried out they conclude that it is ipop and eastern security network why because there's a premeditated um, conception or mindset against the group that is all that happens and it is wrong it is very very wrong it shouldn't be so I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong. The Nigerian police must wake up. The Nigerian security forces must wake up and conduct thorough investigation. There have been reports that most of these guys are coming from outside of the state. They are not from the state. They are being hired by either politicians or some other elements to destroy the peace in the southeast. And that is why it will not be out of place if the government would conduct a thorough investigation and get to know who are those people who are behind these attacks. It is sad and unfortunate that innocent lives are being lost and people are just, you know, going about their businesses as if nothing has happened. Innocent people are being killed, have been arrested, abducted. It happened in Oyibo. It happened during the Olu incident. Now it's happened again. It's happening again in Imo State and in other southeastern states. For how long will this continue is a question that we should ask ourselves. Well guys, drop by at the comment section, let's know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Please hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family relations and loved ones. So they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you guys on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.